How can women address a lack of sexual desire in a relationship? What effect does the use of sex toys have on intimacy? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Women can address a lack of sexual desire in a relationship through open and honest communication with their partner. It's also important to identify potential underlying causes, such as stress or fatigue, and consider couples therapy if necessary. The use of sex toys can have a positive effect on intimacy by increasing excitement and pleasure for couples. They can help explore new sensations and improve communication within the partnership. Kama Sutra in Gastronomy. Some restaurants offer themed menus inspired by the Kama Sutra, where dishes and drinks bear suggestive names and are creatively presented to stimulate the senses. Kegel exercises. Foreplay can include Kegel exercises, which strengthen the pelvic floor muscles and may increase sensitivity and orgasm intensity. In rural communities in Latin America, Sexual education workshops may be conducted by health promoters and community leaders, addressing topics such as family planning, disease prevention, and communication in relationships. Leather and latex fetishism. This fetish involves an attraction to the use of leather, latex, or vinyl garments, either as a form of dress in sexual contexts or as part of specific role-playing scenarios. Masturbation and body exploration. Masturbation can be a powerful way to explore and understand female anatomy, allowing women to discover what types of stimulation are most pleasurable for them. Masturbation and emotional well-being. Masturbation can help women feel more confident, better understand their bodies, and develop a more positive relationship with their sexuality, contributing to emotional well-being. Masturbation as a healthy practice. Masturbation is a normal and healthy sexual activity that can provide pleasure, relieve stress, and help people learn about their own bodies and sexual desires. Masturbation in the elderly. Masturbation is not exclusive to young people. Many older women continue to enjoy masturbation as a way to maintain a healthy and satisfying sexual life. Media influence. The media, such as movies, TV shows, and erotic literature, can influence people's sexual fantasies by presenting scenarios and situations that spark imagination. In some Middle Eastern countries, safe and anonymous online spaces and mobile applications are being created to provide sexual education to young people, overcoming cultural and religious barriers related to access to information. Myths about sexuality. There are many myths and misconceptions about sexuality that persist in society, such as the idea that masturbation is harmful or that virginity is related to moral purity, which can negatively affect attitudes and sexual behaviors. Need for clear boundaries. Establishing clear and mutually agreed upon boundaries is essential in open relationships to avoid misunderstandings, conflicts, or emotional wounds. Open communication about desires, needs, and expectations is fundamental. Nonverbal communication. During foreplay, women often use nonverbal communication, such as moans, sighs, and body movements, to guide their partners and communicate what they like and dislike. Not for everyone. While open relationships work well for some people, they are not suitable for everyone. Some people find more satisfaction in traditional monogamous relationships, and it's okay to have different preferences regarding relationship styles. PC muscle exercise. Regularly practicing exercises to strengthen the pubococcygeal, PC muscle, can help some men improve control over ejaculation. Physical exercise and erectile function. Regular physical activity and aerobic exercise can improve erectile function by enhancing cardiovascular health and increasing blood flow throughout the body, including the penis. Pornography addiction. There has been debate about whether pornography can be addictive, with some studies suggesting that excessive consumption can lead to psychological dependence similar to other addictions. 
pornography and sexual fantasies. Pornography can serve as a source of inspiration for sexual fantasies, allowing people to explore and experiment with scenarios and practices that may otherwise be inaccessible or unsafe. Power Role Fantasies Some people enjoy sexual fantasies involving power roles, such as boss employee, teacher student, or doctor patient. These fantasies can provide a safe way to explore consensual power exchange in a controlled environment. Primary prevention. In addition to using condoms during sexual intercourse, other primary prevention strategies include reducing the number of sexual partners and practicing sexual abstinence. Psychological factors. Stress, anxiety, depression, and self-esteem issues have been found to contribute to premature ejaculation. These psychological factors can negatively impact a man's ability to control his sexual response. Reducing pressure. By allowing couples to seek sexual satisfaction outside the primary relationship, open relationships can reduce the pressure on a single individual to meet all their partner's needs. Relationship between mental health and sexuality. Mental health and sexuality are closely related, and mental health issues such as depression and anxiety can affect sexual function and emotional well-being. Relaxation. Techniques. Practicing relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing, meditation, or yoga, can help reduce anxiety and improve sexual response in individuals with stress-related anorgasmia. Robot fetishism. With the advancement of technology, some people experience sexual attraction to robots or artificial intelligences, known as robot fetishism. Role of gender stereotypes. Gender stereotypes can influence people's expectations and sexual roles, but it is important to challenge these stereotypes and allow for free and authentic expression of sexuality. Role playing. Exploring roles during foreplay can add excitement and variety to the sexual experience, allowing women to play different characters and enjoy new erotic dynamics. Seduction games. Seduction and flirting are key components of foreplay as they increase sexual tension and anticipation, setting the stage for a more intense and satisfying sexual experience. Sensory experience. Some women prefer sexual positions that stimulate multiple senses, such as sight, smell, and touch, which can intensify their sexual experience. Sex toys. Foreplay can involve a variety of sex toys designed specifically to stimulate different areas of the female body, such as vibrators, dildos, Benoit balls, and clitoral stimulators. Sexual disorders. Sexual disorders, such as erectile dysfunction, anorgasmia, and hypoactive sexual desire disorder, can affect a person's ability to enjoy sex and may be caused by physical, psychological, or a combination of both factors. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.